Okay, welcome back. So now we're gonna do the smoke coming off this candle and how we're gonna use this picture as our reference to get a smoke similar to this right here on this panel. So I've already pre-mixed my white. I've still got that mixed up. Now for smoke, to get it to look really crisp, you actually are gonna use a lot of stencils, or at least I use a lot of stencils. Uh, it's a little bit more stencil heavy compared to doing fire. So you have all your different kind of types of stencils. You saw this one in the first part, uh, the Pharaoh, then you, I mean, you've got some that's got all kinds of shapes here that make good for different twists and turns. This one here, it's got some good twists and turns. So there's a bunch, there's a bunch of different stencils out there. If you've been doing airbrushing for some time, you've probably tried all kinds of stencils to see what you like best. And you got your large stencils, probably won't need that one. Part of your like your Essential Sevens kit from Art Tool, uh, and then just some other oddballs. Uh, you got your freehand stencil, kind of like your different curves in it. Uh, then you have your your H stencil from Art Tool. These are the Fraser stencils. So let's go ahead, let's see, so our main one kind of comes up, it kind of comes, and then it comes around. I kind of want to just see, we'll do a little bit of a, maybe do a little bit of, of a freehand. Um, I want to do those, I want something to sit back here so this doesn't fall back. It's too thick. Alright, we'll just go the way it is. So I'm probably just gonna got my white already in the brush. We'll just come in here and get some of this off. And let's be prepared next time for our videos. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of loosely for the start. I just kind of want to loose this one in. Make sure you're spraying. So we'll kind of come in, this is a little bit of a straighter, with the curve right here. to a kind of a curve here. We'll do a curve here. And it wisps around. We can also have a little bit of Here, a little bit of your. I mean, your smoke's still the gas part of the of your element here. Get my words out. So you are gonna have some thick, and then you're gonna have some light areas where you can kind of see through it. You will have areas where it's bright. So I'm just kind of going to get in here and do some of this. <clears throat> we'll go. 
let me see, I need to get a curve. It's kind of a, like a little curve here. I'm gonna try. How it comes across. Then we have another little area that we build off of here. It's kind of a little divot. Now you don't have to be perfect on this, like as far as me going and trying to duplicate what's in that picture, we might be off, but it's okay. This is you building this, you're making this. I mean, we're definitely building this smoke out, right? I mean, this is, this is our deal. So you can have this look any way you want it. Do have a little area here kind of comes up on the top where it's and really it's okay if you don't connect it like if you have some loops on this top part up here you might not be able to see I'm like my frame a little bit. Just that. I can come off that because there's a haze. There's a little bit of a haze in here that I can build that off of. But also, we have an area in here. Sometimes it's good when you have like some of your smaller stencils, which I thought I had one laying out here. Punch it in a little bit. And let's see, so got some of this <clears throat> comes across. And we have, let's see, a little bit here. Kind of building things up as we go. Loosely using our reference as we go. Building this in. This one has it's kind of a little bit of a hard edge here. So let's see if we can't make this a little bit of a hard edge here. And I'm spraying a lot of it on the on the edge of the we'll spray it on the edge of the stencil instead of actually on the board to kind of get the the fogging effect.
So I'm just using a bunch of different stencils just to kind of play around with my shape. And then you can kind of come off the hard edges and soften them up. Then, let me see, because I have a little, a little area that kind of comes down here, and it's almost like, I actually can use this little spot right in here. Logging in. And actually, let's go a little bit. Side, and then it kind of comes up and I'm going to bring it around just bring it around and then I come back down I'm going to do this one kind of fog it in So you can see how that's coming along. Like I said, we're not perfect on how my reference photo looks. But we are we are pretty close to the way it looks. This area, if you look, if you look down here, it's like really bright, right? So I'm gonna go in on that. We're gonna try to see if we can't get it to kind of get it darker in here. Getting there, go back in and hit this one. Sometimes when you have like multiple stencils, you really gotta pay attention to what ones you're using so that when you have to go back, and line them back up again. I'm gonna have a little bit of my white's kind of popping a little bit. Clean your 
noodle, noodle off because you'll get that dry spray on there, especially when it looks. Now you can just kind of play around with it, build up some areas that you want. if I can't get this little area right here is a little bit more of a refined point. As you see, we're getting there. We're close. I mean, we're off. We're off a little bit on the structure of the smoke, but. I think we're pretty close. We'll build up a little more in here because we've got a little bit more white. So that'll bring it out, especially when we go to clear it. It'll come out and it'll really start popping. That's kind of how we're going to build that one up. So, took that reference and turned it into that. What we'll do is probably add a touch of black down here because there's a little bit of black for that wick. And it's a kind of a touch of white. then we will call it okay thanks for watching guys that's my little bit of a smoke tutorial going <laughs>